Hi, my name is Dr. Eric Gingrowski. I'm a pediatrician and the Associate Chief Medical Officer for Visual Diagnosis. I'm here today to show the three ways that our MedEnt software integrates with Visual DX. The first integration is through the patient record. We go down to the differential diagnosis selection tool and we hit the diagnosis button. The link for Visual DX comes up at the top of the ICD-10 code set. We click on that link. This will bring you to the home page of Visual DX. From here, you can start a search for a patient symptom to generate a curated differential. So our patient today has some abdominal pain. You can see all I need to do is enter the first symptom of the patient and it passes the patient's age and sex through from the EMR. Here then I can specify what type of abdominal pain and this patient presented with right lower quadrant. This is now entering me into a guided workup where I now may enter additional features. So if I look at here and we look here, we have some hyperactive bowel sounds. The patient is appearing ill and there are other associated symptoms of say fever. Then if I have all my symptoms entered and hit view the differential, I can then go to a differential for this patient. You can see these are all listed here in each of the placards. So that's the first way that we can enter Visual DX through the patient record. The second way is through the patient's problem list. Let's get to that. So I'm in the home screen for a patient. I can click on the patient's problem list. And there are several different types of links we have within the problem list. The first would be for a condition like juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. If I click the information button and then click on the visual DX button, browse topic, I'm then brought to a write-up based on a child for juvenile idiopathic arthritis. Once within this write-up, I can look at any of the fields. I can uh, generate patient handouts and access other information. There are also other types of links from that problem list. The second being a problem that is more nebulous, like a cyst. If I click this button, as you know, cysts can be linked to multiple different diagnoses. I'll be presented with a screen that actually has the diagnosis that have cysts as part of their concept within Visual DX. So in this case, if say I want to learn more about say a pilonidal cyst, I can then click on that concept. And I brought again to a patient right up within Visual DX regarding palonidal cysts. And yet a different type of link is if I click on a condition like abdominal pain. And as you know, abdominal pain is a symptom that has many different diagnoses. I click the Visual DX button from my info button. And again, browse topic. It's going to bring to your screen where it is going to begin a curated differential search for a 12-year-old female with abdominal pain. Um, as you know, this is a very wide differential. And if my patient has other symptoms and I want to start the differential builder, all I need to do here is click on the patient findings. And then I'm prompted to be able to add other symptoms. Um, this brings you to a guided workup. So just like you saw in the first screen, I then can click through the different tabs here and find other findings that are already preset within the workup or I have the addition to type in such as vomiting. Once you've already got all your patient findings in here, you may hit view the differential, and it'll go to a differential for that patient's condition. So those are the three ways that Visual DX and Med have integration currently. Thank you.